Hi guys, hope you are doing well. I want to welcome you all in this video series that is aircraft explain ATA wise and in this video I am going to explain ATA 12 that is servicing. So first of all we will understand what is this term servicing means. So servicing means to examine any system or a part of the aircraft or you can also say to inspect any system or part of the aircraft and decide whether it is airworthy, which uh, it is fine or you will have to repair it or replace it or replenish it so that the system can go well. Okay. So basically aircraft servicing include three things. The first one is replenishment. Replenishment means to fill any fluid. Fluid can be a liquid or a gas, right? So to fill it, just, just examine or inspect the system whether liquids are proper or not. If they are not proper, just fill it. That is called replenishment. The second one is scheduled servicing. Scheduled servicing means the servicings that happen on any particular interval like 10 days, 20 days, 3 months, 4 months, right? Then the third one is unscheduled servicing that is that is not predictable. You cannot predict it. It can be of anything or it can be uh, happen any time. Okay. So one by one we will understand. The first, the first type of servicing is replenishment. Replenishment means it is generally for the liquids or gases that is fluids. Okay. So what are the systems that are that need replenishment? The first and very famous and general example is fuel. Okay. Once the aircraft stops on any airport, generally the AME, the engineer will decide whether the fuel are sufficient or not with consideration of pilots also. Okay. So once this is decided like the quantity should be this much, then it will be checked through the indicators whether the fuel is up to that approved mark or not. If they are not having that much of fuel to go on to their next destination, then they will replenish with some other fuel means same type of fuel, but uh, some more fuel so that they can go on the next destination. Okay. It can be hydraulic systems also because you know hydraulic systems will give you hydraulic power of the aircraft like operation of flight control surfaces, landing gears, the secondary flight control surfaces. All these things are operated by hydraulic power. So it is very necessary that the hydraulic fluid in, in your craft should be in uh, approved quantity. Third one is engine oils. All you all know that engines are running to, uh, continuously. So for their cooling and lubrication of the engine parts, we will use engine oils. Okay. So uh, we we'll have to ensure that the engine oil in the engine will be in approved quantity. Okay. It can be of gases like uh, oxygen system also. There are there are some places where nitrogen are used. So we will have to ensure that these fluids should be in correct amount. If they are not in the correct amount, it is your duty to replenish it. Okay. And then next comes the scheduled servicing. Okay. Scheduled servicing means like cleaning of the aircraft. Okay. So cleaning can be of two types like internal, external, you know, internal means like uh, just uh, cleaning the cockpit, cleaning the cabin, cabin door, uh, cabin floor, seat, seat covers, or these are internal uh, cleaning. External cleaning means cleaning the outside of the fuselage, the wings, the outside part of the engine and all stabilizers. Okay. So this, this can be, this can be a scheduled, uh, scheduled servicing. Okay. Next can be like lubrication of the parts. See, in, beside engine, engine is always lubricated by the engine oil. Beside engine, like your landing gears, your stabilizer, generally the trimmable horizontal stabilizers that are called THS. You can say the flight control, all these are. Uh, uses some particular type of grease to lubricate itself. Okay, so time to time it is mandatory to lubricate it pro properly so that they can work without friction. Okay, so the lubrication of the aircraft part then comes the drainage like water tanks. Time to time we will have to drain, we will have to empty the water tank and we will have to inspect it whether it is okay, any uh, corrosion is there or any other damages are there or not. Then comes your very uh, famous example, the uses of magnetic quantity indicator for the fuel system. Okay. So all these comes under scheduled servicing. Then comes your unscheduled servicing. That means you cannot predict, predict it like uh, the aircraft protection from, from what? From snow, from ice, from sandstorm, from high wind. So all these conditions are unpredictable. It can be uh, happen anytime. So for that reason, how you prepare the aircraft, all these things should come under unscheduled 
servicing. Then comes your oil sampling for analysis. See, if there are malfunction in any part of the aircraft that is related to hydraulic system, APU or engine, then we will collect some oil from the system like hydraulic oil, the engine oil, the APU oil, so that we can analyze that oil and we can predict and we can find out that what is the actual problem inside the system. Then comes your preconditioning air, like if your aircraft is on a bay where engines are not started and APU is not working, in that case we will use some preconditioned air from the outside and we will blow in, inside the cabin with the help of ducts so that our passengers or the engineers who are working can good and relax okay then comes your grounding points or you can say the earthing points of the aircraft if there are any damage the inspection of all these comes under unscheduled servicing and the last one is system line flushing see uh, anything like fuel uh, the fueling system the hydraulic system oxygen system or nitrogen system all these system uses lines that means pipes and hoses to transfer their power from one place to another okay and if there are any damage in the system like any damaged pipe or hoses in that case we will repair it or replace it so once you repair it or replace it in that case you will have to flush it flush it means you will just provide the same fluid inside that pipe again and again so that it you make sure that there is no leakage uh, that uh, system pipes are with uh, withstanding the pressure that are handled inside the aircraft so all these ensuring all these things is called flushing okay so this is a very basic idea behind what is this ata 12 that means servicing okay so if you find that video is helpful please like it subscribe it share it share it with your friends so that everyone can get the